Hey everyone, if you've been looking at the Radian Carbon tripods, you may have noticed there's two different head options that you can choose from. We've got the ball style head and what we call the level style head. But what's the differences between them and which one is right for you? First, let's talk about the similarities between these two heads. Both of these heads are Arca Swiss compatible and they come with this quick release plate right out of the box that has a quarter 20 threaded screw right on the bottom that can go into most optics out there like spotting scopes, binocular adapters, etc. Of course, if you don't decide to use this, it leaves behind a nice footprint for you to use with your rifle or really any other accessory out there, which there are many that use the Arca Swiss footprint. Now, if you're looking at these Radian Carbon tripods to begin with, chances are you're probably putting something pretty heavy and robust on top. Could be big optics or a big rifle. And the head is a very important piece of that equation. These heads are very robust and perfectly capable of holding up that kind of weight. Of course, to go along with these really tough and durable heads, the legs on these Radian Carbon tripods are very strong and durable to hold up anything you throw at them. Both these heads atop these tripods can make for great platforms for long range shooting, whether that's competition or even some hunting scenarios, with precise adjustments and really smooth operation. Now, as we know, when it comes to long range shooting, maintaining a level rifle and scope is extremely paramount at those really extended distances. So these tripods and their heads both feature a bubble level in the tripod itself, as well as the head on top to make sure everything is squared up before you pull the trigger. Now let's talk specific to the leveling head which I have here to my right. It's a really smooth and intuitive head to use with this simple rubberized handle at the bottom that allows you to unlock, lock, or even control the tensioning of the head as you move it plus or minus 15 degrees in any direction. The fluid motion of this head allows for really smooth adjustments on the fly and the low profile nature of its design means there's less stuff to get snagged on and you still end up with a really heavy duty head that's going to hold up all your equipment and it even dampens vibration. Now speaking even further to the steadiness and rigidity of this particular head, while both the ball and leveling head are really rock solid, if I had to pick one that was going to have less bounce or less perceived shake or any influence the shooter may be imparting into a firearm when they have it mounted up on a tripod. Just by nature of this design, this is a little bit more steady. As far as the load rating goes for this head, it can accommodate up to 44 pounds. Now let's talk specific to the ball head. And as we know with ball heads, the biggest advantage is all of the versatility that you're gonna get. Whether you're glassing or shooting at high or low angles, or you're finding yourself needing to use an optic or a gun in some precarious positions, the advantage here is just all the different orientations that we can put this head in. Now just how much versatility does the ball head afford you? Well, all the way around the entire head, you're going to get 45 degrees of angle that you can tilt into whatever accessory you have on top. And if you move it around to the side here, you'll be able to see that there are two notches cut out of the body in the head that allow you to go all the way up to 90 degrees of angle. Now, as far as locking and unlocking the head or adjusting the tension, there are three knobs on the side that allow you to do that. The larger knob adjusts the tension of the head that you have, it can go loose or give you a nice solid resistance. Then you have your lock, which will fully lock the ball head in its place. And also another locking slash tension knob here, which allows you to manipulate the bottom panning portion of the head, which independently pans side to side horizontally the entire head without actually moving the ball from its place that you've set it in. Now, when using the panning feature of this tripod, we all know that precision is very important. So as you move the tripod head around, we've given you reference marks at each 2.5 degree interval to denote just how much you've moved. Now, another one of the pros to this head is that when it comes to all out maximum load, it actually has the highest rating of any of the tripod heads in our lineup at 55 pounds. So there are the biggest differences between these two head options in the Radian Carbon Tripod lineup. If you're going to be shooting or glassing at some pretty severe angles, right off the bat, you're gonna to wanna to go for the ball head because of all the versatility it provides. If the reason you're looking for a tripod is just to get your glass or your rifle up higher off the ground and provide you some excellent stability, with just some really easy to use and intuitive controls, then the leveling head is the one for you. Hopefully this has helped you learn the differences between them to help you make a better choice for your particular application. As usual, if you have any questions at all, please let us know in the comments below or hit us up on social media, the phone, email, whatever works best for you. We love hearing from you. But in the meantime, thanks for watching everybody and we will see you on the next video.